be your neurological pathway stores that new way of doing things yeah. so while you're doing that you've got kind of if you imagine two pathways so you've got your old way of doing it and mm. then you've got the new one you're trying to form so every time you slip up a little bit which you oh, will gonna, it's like yeah, learning to ride yeah, a bike um, every time you slip up you kind of go back down the old pathway but the more you go down your new pathway and the new way of doing things, the weaker the old pathway gets and mm. the stronger the new way where mm. new, new way It'll gets. It'll take over, yeah. And starts to take over. So that, that's the other thing as well is you, you're then kind of um, helping them through that over that period as well to start to kind of reinforce um, new ways of thinking. It's a, you know positive mental attitude. Mm. You can I can then work with them and give them books to read and things to try and you know I'm really into meditation as well so um, I've got lots of meditations that I would give them to to work on um, between our sessions. So it's really transformational, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is actually it is. changing people's perspective on on life. On yeah. life. It's changing on how they view lens. themselves. Yeah. And how they view others as well. Yeah. And um, I think it, well, I just think it's brilliant. So we're going to play another song now. What is it, George? Adele, Adele and make you feel my love. Make you feel my love.
That was for George. He loves that song. So we thought we'd throw that in there because um, <laughs> next week, Candy, be quiet. Next week is our last show for a little while. We're going to have a little break. And um, then we're going to come back and we're going to do some special shows. We're going to do some phone-ins and all sorts of things. So get ready for that. But we are just going to have a little bit of a break for a little while. Um, Anyway, back to Tracy. I'm very, very intrigued. I get quite excited about these things. I did know about NLP, um, but I wasn't actually sure of the process. I was Mm -hmm. aware of it, but I didn't know exactly what you do. Um, so if there's people at home and they want to get in contact, how can they get hold of you? Uh, so you can get hold of me um, on my website, which is www.blissflow.co.uk. So that's blissflow without the W on the end, so B-L-I-S-S-F-L-O. Um, my contact details are on there, but it's tracy at blissflow. Um, tracy at blissflow at gmail.com. Okay, they'll get you. <laughs> no, they'll that's, get you right, that's web... completely wrong. That's completely wrong. <laughs> Um, Tracy at Blissflow Tracy at Blissflow Um, and um, I've also got a blog on there and I've also got um, a Blissflow blog on Blogspot as well so you can find me on there and find out what I'm writing about and I'm on Twitter at Blissflow Inspire and um, on my Facebook page Blissflow Oh hang on a minute I've just got to say Candy's picked her phone up to follow you (laughs) That's really good that's a good sign. Yeah. Well, Candy, I hope you're following me as well. Um, I know. So, bliss for inspire, Candy. <laughs> okay. So, I, I'd love you at home to get in contact with um, Tracy. The art of living an inspired life. Well, you've certainly inspired me. How long did it take you to be become a practitioner? Um, so actually, for, to become an uh, so I'm a master NLP practitioner, but actually you can become a NLP practitioner over quite a short What's period a of time. Mean? It's just the different levels. Oh, so right. Practitioner, okay. and then you and then you do a, um, another stage, and you become a master. Um, and then beyond that is train the trainer, where you can train um, people in NLP. Um, but you can actually learn NLP in like a matter of a couple of weeks. But the course that I did. Um, was very spiritual based it was very um, heavy on clinical hours and actually um, take have having live clients if you like in it in an environment where my um, trainer a lady called CC Williams who's just moved back to the UK which is brilliant because she's been in Sweden for a while um, but she um, where she sits in with you and make you know and kind of um, makes sure that you're following the process properly and doing it safely with the client etc whereas a lot of NLP courses you don't have to do any of that you just learn the theory oh, right. and there's no okay. um, practical side whereas um, mine you know had quite a heavy um, practical side and it was also a written coursework for so to answer your question it took I did it over a matter of I think probably two to four years mm. but I had a baby in the middle as well so yeah so that kind of delayed me finishing but yeah so I, I did do it over a number of years but you can actually do it over a number of weeks okay so if there's people at home and you're feeling well like we were saying at the beginning of the program if you're feeling a little bit unhappy a little bit stuck uninspired a bit depressed life stuck life stuck <laughs> yeah um contact Tracy, you know, because obviously what she does do, it, I don't think people should be scared of it either. It doesn't seem to me like it's a scary process. No, it's it's not. It is. It can be quite emotional. Um, it is quite intense, but I don't think that should scare anyone. Mm. Um, you know, it it can be as light and happy and amusing as you want it to be as well, because you you it's a chance to kind of laugh at yourself really and yeah. see what it is you're doing to yourself just by the way that you're thinking yeah you know and a lot of it is unconscious obviously but when you start to become aware of what you're thinking and what that's doing to your life mm. you, you, so you can almost kind of laugh at yourself so um when I first started training and um I went on an initial kind of weekend course where it was more of I didn't even know it was NLP at the time mm. it was called well me well-being for life um, and I just went on it because I saw a flyer that said, um, and it was a two-page A4 flyer, and the only bit I remember of it was this one line that said, if you're unhappy and you don't know why, this is a course for you. And I went, oh, oh I'm going on this that. This is a course for me. <laughs> so I went on the course, which is where I met Cece, the wonderful lady. Um, and um, I guess yeah, so I went on the course and... I went through one of the processes that you go through and this will sound really kind of trivial and almost kind of like I can't believe that really did anything but 
I realized that I thought I wasn't happy. So what I was doing in my head is constantly saying to myself, why am I not happy? Why am I not happy? What's wrong with me? There must be something yeah. wrong with you. I'm not happy. And I realized actually I was. So just that simple thing made a massive change to me yeah. because I then realized actually, do you know what? I am happy. Oh, and I think we're out of time. Well, I think George is <laughs> like, he does it. It's because we get so involved in the conversation. I think we're out of time. He's waving his hands. Sorry, He's George. kicking his legs. <laughs> Um, I think we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much, Tracy. You're welcome. Thanks for inviting me. And I hope people contact you. And uh, right, we're going to close the show. I'm going to see you this time, same time, (laughs) next week. Oh, gosh. (laughs) And um, I'm going to close the show with Chaka Khan, I'm Every Woman.
MK Pulse proudly sponsors Seclo Sounds. MK Pulse is Milton Keynes' local magazine, bringing helpful information on food, health, fashion, money, travel, culture.